On December 27th, the tragic news of Soon Gyun's passing hit the public. The police in Seoul reported that they had found an unconscious man inside a parked car in Seoul's Waryong Park. The police were notified after receiving an emergency call from a woman who explained that her husband had left the house after writing a strange note. Other media outlets state that Soon Gyun's manager had also reported him as a missing person. As a result, the police quickly went to investigate the site and confirmed that this man was was indeed Soon Gyun. The police reports state that the investigators found evidence of lit charcoal briquettes inside his car, further suggesting that he took his own life. His family didn't want the investigation team to conduct an autopsy on him. As a public figure, Soon Gyun was in the spotlight all the time, even after his passing. The CCTV footage of his last drive was uploaded to the internet and has been watched millions of times by the public. It's reported that the footage was caught by a surveillance camera from a cafe nearby. The camera records state that he passed through the area around 11.44 p.m. on December 26th, suggesting that Soon Gyun was at the scene for 12 hours before he was found by the authorities. It's even said that part of his alleged last note to his wife was publicized by a media outlet. Reportedly, he told his wife that he couldn't help it and that there wouldn't be another way out. Besides this, he also allegedly apologized to the CEO of his label for the large amount of trouble he caused by being under investigation for using illegal substances. It's reported that that the agency received a large amount of penalties and that Soon Gyun lost quite a few endorsement and movie deals as a result of his scandal. The amount lost is estimated to be around $10 million. Despite his passing being so public, his funeral was a private affair with only family, friends, and close colleagues attending. Fans gathered at Seoul National University Hospital to stick memos to the walls as a sign of their mourning. They praised Soon Gyun and his work and made sure to leave nice messages behind for others to see. The private funeral ceremony was held on December 29th and a a few pictures were released by media outlets who were on site. The photographs made it very clear that his wife was having an incredibly hard time during the funeral. She was seen keeping her head down, unable to hold back her tears. Other family members were seen holding a framed picture of Soon Gyun smiling brightly. Soon Gyun's passing was not only incredibly difficult on his family, but his colleagues were also overwhelmed with grief. Cho Jin Wung, a good friend of his who starred with him in A Hard Day and even took over his role in No Way Out, had to be supported by one of his friends friends during Soon Gyun's wake because he just couldn't handle the loss of his dear friend. Many idols, actors, and other celebrities took to social media to pay their respects. Actress Claudia Kim posted an Instagram story and wrote, So shocked and heartbroken to hear the news. Everyone deserves to be forgiven for their mistakes. Everyone deserves a second chance. Veteran idol Yuri from girl group Cool posted something similar and said, I pray that the deceased rests in peace. It's so sad. It makes me think more about how scary people really are. Should a mistake cost our life, actor Lee Ji-hoon also expressed his grief through a now-deleted post. He called out the people who had criticized Soon Gyun, saying, is it fair for someone to judge when they themselves had never experienced what he was going through? To those who judge others, can you look yourself in the mirror and not be embarrassed about your own life? He received tons of backlash for this post from netizens, so he replaced it with a black screen instead. On December 28th, G-Dragon also paid his respects on his Instagram story. He posted a drawing of a white chrysanthemum without adding a specific comment. No words were needed to get his message across, especially considering that he also found himself under investigation by the police at the same time as Soon Gyun. G-Dragon successfully managed to clear his name, but Soon Gyun's process didn't go as smoothly. Soon Gyun's former co-stars Boa and Kim Go Un also publicly mourned him. On December 28th, Boa shared a post on her Instagram recalling the warm memories they spent together. The two starred together in the 2016 drama Listen to Love, and it's an experience she'll never forget. Expressing the pain she felt, Boa wrote, saying, see you soon was our daily routine, but now I will go visit you. You were the type to endure unimaginable hardships all alone, but now I hope you will be filled with peace and happiness. My forever captain, my mister, I love you. May you rest in peace. Similarly, Go Un posted an old picture with him in his memory. The two are smiling while holding a bouquet of flowers. No caption was needed as the image already spoke a thousand words. In 2015, they starred together in The Advocate, A Missing Body, but they knew each other even before that. They both attended Korea National University of Arts, so their friendship was very special. At the 2023 SBS Drama Awards, which were held shortly after Soon Gun passed, all actors were dressed in black in his memory. Mamamoo's Hwasa had a dazzling performance planned, but 
she changed her plans last minute to honor him. Instead of lighting the stage on fire, she gave a heartfelt performance, making everyone watching tear up, showing just how well-respected Soongyun was in the entertainment industry. Even former president of South Korea Moon Jae-in addressed his passing. On his Facebook, he shared his condolences by writing a short letter. He explained that he'd grown very familiar with Soongyun through his movies and dramas, so it almost felt like a close acquaintance has passed. Criticizing the South Korean legal system, he wrote, it is even more heart-wrenching as it seems the investigative practices of law enforcement agencies and the reporting behavior of the media is the catalyst for his tragic decision. It's become pretty clear by now that Soon Gyun's drastic decision to take his own life had everything to do with his ongoing investigation. For those who aren't familiar with what was going on, on October 19th, a mysterious top celebrity named Mr. L was reported to be under investigation for using illegal substances. At the time, it wasn't clear who this person was, but soon enough, Soon Gyun's agency revealed the post was actually about him. From then on, everything went in a downward spiral. It turns out the police were investigating the owner of a night establishment, and through this, they discovered Soon Gyun's involvement. She's someone accused of supplying industry officials with substances. It's said that she used substances with her clients, including Soon Gyun, who was accused of visiting this establishment. Soon Gyun denied the claims and argued that he never consumed these substances knowingly. Following the news of his involvement in the scandal, his agency revealed that he was actually blackmailed by this woman. In a statement they wrote, actor Lee Soon Gyun received constant blackmail and threats from A, a person related to the case, and we've submitted a complaint to investigators. We will respond strongly if false information is spread due to malicious or false posts. Reports reveal he was coerced into paying her roughly $250,000. From October onwards, he was questioned three times by police officials. The last time he was questioned happened a few days prior to his passing, and he was held there for 19 hours. It's reported that two different examinations were done to find out whether he was actually using and the results were negative both times. As a result of this, Soon Gyun requested the police to conduct a polygraph test to find out who was telling the truth. Guilty or not, the scandal completely ruined his image. Soon, Gyun was incredibly well-respected in the industry, and after news broke out that he was possibly involved in these shameful activities, netizens didn't go easy on him. They started calling him dirty and shameless for potentially breaking up his family by visiting dirty establishments. Many brands cut ties with him immediately, and some even went as far as removing his wife from their commercials. His future projects were facing serious difficulties, and he even dropped out of the upcoming drama, No Way Out. His professional life was clearly in shambles, but even his family was having a really tough time. His youngest son reportedly left South Korea right after the scandal hit the public. After having been a model celebrity for years, having his reputation tarnished like this undoubtedly caused him a lot of mental anguish. South Korea is known to be incredibly strict when it comes to the use of illegal substances. However, the public also believes that the police and the media played a big role in soon Gyun's passing. He was already embarrassed enough to be involved in a scandal like this, and his problems became even bigger when his entire investigation went public. Online users claimed he didn't lose his life because of the illegal substances. He lost it due to the humiliation other people gave him. The police claimed they tried to prevent media leaks about his case, but clearly they didn't succeed. After his passing, lots of netizens claimed that Soon Gyun's rights weren't respected during the police investigation since the authorities didn't allow his process to happen privately. Privately. Even the former president expressed his regrets over these regressive methods and hopes things will change for the better in the future. We sincerely hope Lee Soong-gyun rests in peace and we wish everyone a lot of strength during these hard times.